is 21-year-old Julie Ann Gonzalez. She disappeared more than a month ago. Her desperate family has come on issues tonight in a desperate bid to try to get some answers about what happened to their precious daughter. You're looking at her there. She has a two-year-old daughter of her own. She was in the process of getting divorced. And her strange husband, George de la Cruz, is also on with us saying he is not responsible, even though he was the last person to see her. And even though the family has questions about his story, he's saying, I have nothing to hide, and I am here right now. Evelyn, Georgia, your question or thought, ma'am? Yes, my thought is that, uh, first of all, they family doesn't get along with the husband, with Julie's husband, and I think that since she was working in um, Walgreens, she might have met somebody and left. And also, he said that, um, he noticed that she was sad, but to me, as a parent, I think that she was leaving her child behind. That oh. she felt comfortable because, um, she knew that the husband was going to uh, care for the child. Well, uh, okay, these are interesting theories. I want to ask whoever knows the most about James the web designer. Was it Dora? Oh, no, that would be me, okay. Sandra. That's actually right. a smoke screen. That would be me, Sandra. Yeah, that is a um, smoke screen. That is uh, just a text message that Julie's friend received. It okay. wasn't a voice phone call. It was a text message out of Julie's text, uh, her cell phone. So, Gil, and you're the uncle. So what, do you think, what do you think about this James text? Well, you know, texts have come into Julie's phone from, like I said, the dead uncle. Uh, random text, anonymous calls, things of that nature. And this is just another one. This is just another smoke screen. Uh, Gil, who's just paying, to throw Gil, who's paying the cell bill? Who gets the who gets the physical bill or able to go online to pay to keep the phone running? I do. My sister can. Now, has so, there been any credit card or ATM activity on her on her credit cards? No. No activity. No. Go on. No money has been withdrawn from the bank. You know, there she ran was, away. She there would was need one money. Credit card activity. Beg your pardon, uh, Sandra. There was one credit card purchase. What, what was that for? It was purchased at Best Buy. They cool. showed me the video and they asked me to identify the, the person who used the credit card and it was not her. Oh, who was whoa. it? Yeah. Who was it? yeah, that's one of the red flags that I tried to bring up to the point today because I had a conversation with the uh, police chief on the radio today. I caught him off guard because it, it was a call-in show. So I, I spoke with him before he knew who I actually was. And I, I mentioned, you know, there's some red flags out there. What is your detective doing about those red flags? Now, who was the person at the bed Best Buy? A description of that person. Was it a male, female? It was a female, but it wasn't her. Julie is five feet tall, very petite, not long-legged, and the person who was on the video was obviously not Julie. And how long ago was that? Uh, the purchase was made April 7th, but they showed me the video just last week. The 20th. But, but this is so, what I don't understand. Uh, I don't understand. It, now, you didn't know who this female was. In other words, it wasn't one of her regular friends, right? No, no. So it's an unidentified female using her credit card to purchase what? A movie. A movie? What movie? Spiderwick Chronicles. What? Spider Wick Chronicles. What, was the card used as a credit card or was it used as a debit card? Do you know? I believe it was used as a credit card. As a credit card. Hmm. Okay, you know what? We've got a transition because we're, we're uh, it's technical stuff, but uh, I want to ask all of you, put, put all the panel up, please, for one second. Uh, okay. I, they've agreed that they will come back tomorrow. We're going to stay on top of this. We're going to solve it. We're getting closer, but we haven't solved it yet. And uh, it's shocking that somebody else used her credit card, and we're just getting to that now. Wow. You think? All right. I mean, this is important information that a week later, a little over a week, maybe 10 days later, some woman uses Julie Ed's credit card at Best Buy to buy a movie. Why did, has it taken all this time for this information to come out? Oh, God.